Good morning traders and welcome to the daily call today, Tuesday the 1st of March. Alright, yesterday's market, uh, no actual major data was released, the major talking points uh, of course are still the, the Russia situation, but in terms of the currencies and the majors, the uh, US dollar lost a little bit of ground, particularly against our own Aussie dollar, moving with the Aussie pair jumping around about 60-70 pips, the Euro USD also moving up as well. Uh, um, but that was pretty much all for yesterday, so let's just jump straight into our chart of the day. If you recall, yesterday I showed you this chart, it's the GBP AUD on a daily time scale, and I said let's wait and see until it comes towards uh, this zone here, and then we can make a decision. Consequently, this is what's happened overnight. The market did in fact move down. You can see we've bridged the gap there and we are now touching that line. So what that means now is all we need is the confirmation for the reversal and then we can become buyers on the GBP AUD. So let's wait and see if we can get a, a reversal pattern happening right there. We can already see that uh, this support level has been respected on two previous occasions. So this would be a triple touch on a support level. If we can get the reversal to confirm for us, it really increases the probabilities of uh, this uh, entire trade. So there you have it. GBP AUD daily time scale is our chart of the day this morning. Okay, what's on the agenda for the session which is about to kick off? Well, it's the first Tuesday of the month, so that means that we have the RBA rates decision and the rate statement due out this afternoon at 2.30. So this is a, a high impact in news. Um, the, the cash rate at this stage looks to be set as is, but let's see what the statement itself says and what the projections or indications are that uh, if we could get further uh, rate rises uh, later in the year. So that would determine how the Aussie US pair behaves. So look out for that at 2.30. Then after midnight from Canada, we have the GDP number which is due out. And then last for the session at 2 o'clock in the morning from the US, it's the ISM manufacturing PMI number which is due out. That pretty much wraps up for this morning guys as always please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions you can also follow me on twitter at chat effects for trade setups and breaking news most importantly i hope you all have a fantastic trading day i'll speak to you tomorrow for the daily call bye for now